Right, well, rare earth metals are used in pretty much everything, from your smartphone to your car battery, but there is growing concern that China, which is, by the way, the world's biggest producer, is limiting access to these mined elements. And now big business is taking control and trying to kick our rare earth's addiction. It is today's Scarcity Solutions. From cell phones to ballistic missiles, rare earth elements make up the DNA of our technological lives. But China controls more than 90% of world production. China is really difficult to figure out since they have the lion's share of the market. In some cases they'll hold back, in other cases they'll put the market, uh, flood the market temporarily to see what the prices do. Despite China's recent export quota increase, the first since 2005, experts in government and industry alike share concerns over access. The Pentagon is looking for entrepreneurs to pitch in by making rare earths unnecessary. One startup that's been ahead of the game is Novatalk, whose electric motors ditch rare earths for ferrite oxide, better known as... Rust. And so it's very readily available in all countries of the world. When we compare ourselves to rare earth permanent magnet motors, we're about the same in terms of efficiency, but of course we're much lower cost. So we're a higher value. Big tech is following suit. Toshiba recently announced that it has developed a motor that swaps a Chinese rare earth for one readily available in the US and Australia. Companies like Novator will continue to find ways to replace rare earth with readily available other materials. And innovations like that will steer tech's DNA away from rare earths.